Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In this video lecture, we will discuss digital modulation techniques. Here we will discuss two kinds of modulation techniques of digital modulation, uh, coherent and non-coherent. We will understand what is coherent and what is non-coherent and what is the difference between these two. And uh, we will also see here uh, advantages and disadvantages of using these two techniques okay so let's start on the basis of presence of a phase recovery circuit we can classify digital modulation techniques into coherent or non-coherent techniques we classify these uh, digital modulation techniques into coherent and non-coherent techniques on the basis of presence of phase recovery circuit so what is this phase recovery circuit Actually, uh, the purpose of uh, using phase recovery circuit is to keep the oscillator supplying locally generated carrier wave at the receiving end in synchronism with the oscillator that supplies the carrier wave that is used to modulate the incoming data stream at the transmitter. It means actually we use two types of uh, carrier waves. Okay, We use oscillators to generate carrier wave at two places at the transmitting end and also at the receiving end we know that uh, uh, modulation of the carrier wave at the transmitting end is done uh, by the modulating wave and also we use a carrier at the receiving end which is known as the locally generated carrier wave and in coherent techniques we need that these two carrier waves should be in synchronism okay they should be synchronized they should be coherent they should be synchronized in phase and frequency both so this is the job of the phase recovery circuit to keep the oscillators in synchronism so now let's see what are coherent modulation techniques coherent digital modulation technique okay this technique employs coherent detection if we use this coherent detection then it is called as coherent modulation technique in coherent detection the local carrier wave which is generated at the receiver is phase logged with the carrier at the transmitter okay as we have already discussed that uh, in case of coherent detection these two carriers uh, one is at the transmitting end and another at the receiving end they are in synchronism they are phase logged okay so these both carriers, these both oscillators, oscillators, gen oscillators generate carrier waves. So these are in synchronism. They are synchronized in both frequency and phase in both of these synchronization in frequency and phase. Uh, so what is the advantage? The advantage is that it reduces the error probability. Error probability is reduced it is decreased but uh, the system becomes more complex the complexity of the system increases when we use coherent digital modulation technique so now let's see what are non-coherent digital modulation techniques and what are its drawbacks and advantages okay in comparison to coherent modulation techniques here is the non-coherent digital modulation technique in non-coherent digital modulation technique, there is no need for the two carriers, two carriers used at, at the transmitter and at the receiver to be phase locked. They are not needed to be phase locked. There, there is no need for synchronism in phase or frequency for these two carriers. One is used at the receiving end for as a local carrier and another at the transmitting end which is modulated by the modulating signal that is a message signal these two carriers need not to be in synchronism these need not to be phase locked although uh, in non-coherent technique the system becomes simple but the error probability decreases this is uh, in contrast to the coherent techniques it is just opposite the disadvantage of a coherent technique was the system was complex but here the system is simple as uh, the circuitry becomes simple because there is no need for these two carriers to be phase locked to keep them in synchronism okay but uh, the problem with this non-coherent technique is that it increases the error probability the error probability increases in case of non-coherent digital modulation technique so this was uh, 
the concept of coherent and non-coherent digital modulation techniques and we also discussed here advantages and disadvantages of these two techniques of modulation so hope you like the video in the next video we will see another digital modulation techniques how to modulate them how to create uh, how to generate the modulating signals like ASK FSK PSK and their demodulation process also so keep watching engineering made easy till then bye bye friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye